Hi, my name is Carlene. And I'm Lily. And today we're talking manders. Salamanders. Um, this is Dinosaur. This is a salamander that we found over the past couple days in Manitoba. Um, he is the longest one that we found, almost 10 inches long. A bunch of salamanders come in all different patterns. There are stripes, splotches, and dots, and all sorts of things. Um, this one's a more of a yellowish black with splotches. And this one's a grayish, what is it, like a grayish yellow? Yeah, it's like a, a gray-blue. Yeah, okay. This one's almost all black on top, but then it's really yellow and distinct on the it's bottom. It's a shocking color on the bottom. Salamanders love to dig since they are barred tiger salamanders. Um, they can be found in gopher holes, mole holes, and their own holes. Um, they can be up to 15 years old. Dinosaur is probably 14 or so. He's big. Yeah. But then there are some smaller ones that are probably around like one or two. If you listen very closely to these salamanders, you can hear a variety of different sounds. There's a click, a chirp, and a croak. It is important that we preserve these salamanders because they're very important for ecology and they're very good indicators of pollution. Just like frogs, they absorb chemicals through their skin. I think that farmers should say yay to salamanders because they eat all the bad bugs in their garden and they pose no threat. So these salamanders aren't dangerous at all to humans. They don't bite or anything. and People rarely see them because they are nocturnal and they are mole salamanders. So they're under the ground for most of their day and then only come out at night. So people do rarely ever see these salamanders, which makes them unaware of their beauty that they possess. This salamander here has spots. This one has splotches. This guy almost has some stripes and splotches, but his color is like a bright yellow, which is very different from other salamanders in this area. This guy's a darker striped one with a... The underside is more of a grayish and dull colors. This guy is almost all black, but with a shocking striped tummy with yellow. These salamanders, believe it or not, are not <laughs> slimy. They're damp, um, but they're not slimy. Salamanders go back very early spring, pretty much once the ice goes off the pond so that they can get under to mate. Then the larvae lives in the pond with gills and then when it's time, when they're big enough, they come out of the pond and become terrestrial. Salamanders come out to feast damp, rainy nights and they will feed on grasshoppers, worms, crickets, little beetles, and all sorts of things that can pretty much just fit in their mouth. Salamanders are wild animals. Even though they're not dangerous, they are still not pets. And if you find them, you have to put it back where you found it. Sure, you can take pictures of it and look at it in its beautiful way that it is. But do not take it and keep it. it you can't do that. It won't be healthy for the salamander. And you can all, it won't be as fun because you won't get to look for them. Salamanders prefer a wooded, damp area close to a pond so that they can go back and mate. During the winter, they hibernate under the ground.